Hello, and welcome to Notes of Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 11, Speed Geeking, X-Pages and Blueprint in Slow Motion. This episode, uh, I want to do what I did for the Speed Geeking session of Lotosphere. Um, I, speed Geeking is this area of Lotosphere where you've got 12 tables, and there's 12 presenters, and they give this 5-minute presentation uh, 12 or so times in a row and people go from one table to another it's a lot of fun it's rowdy uh, there's alcohol involved um, and I was honored to be part of it um, so this is the information that I presented at speed geeking now I kind of thought about maybe doing this at speed geeking space but was thinking that uh, outside low sphere that might sound annoying um, so I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna just do this as a normal screencast if you were in Lotosphere and you did come to the session that Declan Lynch and I did, uh, BP207, Make Your X Page Apps Pop with CSS and Themes, um, I'm going to present some of the same information from that session, but I'm going to present some different information. Uh, in that session, we, we talked about CSS and frameworks and themes. We did not tell you how to build an X page or, or work with X page design elements and, and too many. Uh, going to the best practices or so. I'm going to do that here a little bit. Um, so so there is some new information here if you came to that session. Okay, so why Blueprint CSS? Uh, why that framework? Uh, well, it's very light. There's not a lot of bloated information in there that you're not going to use. Uh, it contains a great grid system which allows you to easily place things on the screen. Uh, it's very cross-browser compatible. There's a file for IE hacks and it is uh, free. Okay, Blueprint and X Pages um, together work very well. They're very compatible together. Blueprint does not use CSS IDs, which are not compatible with X Pages. It uses classes, uh, which are very uh, compatible with X Pages. So uh, they fit together very well. Uh, and I have talked about Blueprint on uh, at least one previous screencast, I think. Um, they're very easy to import in your application. It's just small CSS files that you're dealing with. And you can even create a, a server based theme. The main files inside Blueprint is Reset, Grid, Typography, and Forms. Uh, that's the bulk of your CSS code. Uh, but there's an additional file called Screen CSS, which is a comp which takes those four files and compresses them into one. So Screen CSS strips out all the documentation, the comments, and a lot of the white space, so it's a little uh, easier to download to the browser. It's a little smaller, so so that's really the only file uh, that you need from those four. How do you install it? You're going to import uh, your screen CSS into your application resources. Um, you're going to probably want to create your own CSS file for your own custom code for an application called Application CSS, and then you create a theme. So you can use it on every page. The theme, this is what a theme looks like. The most important part of a theme is to extend a server theme. So you can see here at the top, I'm extending web standard. You might also want to extend one UI if you want some of those features there. Um, and that makes the dojo stuff work. So like the date picker is a dojo uh, uh, kind of tool. And you get, uh, it needs styling uh, to work uh, correctly. And, and web standard contains that styling, as does one UI. So we've got a resource here, screen CSS is as a resource. Um, we've got a resource rendered of a which is server side JavaScript code, which basically says if this is IE6, then use this IE CSS file, which is another download from the Blueprint framework uh, that you would import in. And then finally, there's a resource for your application CSS. So you put this, create this as a theme, then go in your database properties and set this theme document that you would create to um, um, to use this and then this will be available on all your pages so how do you actually use it then well you don't work with X pages when you get to a certain level really you work with custom controls the X page is just a container for custom controls do, do everything on the custom control so you have a custom control for all your content areas Inside that custom control, you wrap it in a panel or a div, and then you can style that. So if you look at this grid, span, dash x, prepend, append, you can use columns in Blueprint. So span 16, for instance. That's how you move it on the screen. The forms and typography have different stylings as well inside Blueprint. And very important, the last style that you need on one of your uh, custom controls, your, your these containers, is the last style. And what that says is anything that comes next goes underneath it. Um, so it, it's kind of easy to work with. So how do you use it? 
for a common layout and look and feel structure for your website you want to create a custom control for your layout that custom control is going to be made up of other custom controls um, for like the header is going to be its own custom control the footer the left sidebar etc then on your master layout custom control you add an embeddable area and that's where the main page content will go and each main page content is its own custom control uh, and you'll see this in the demo in a minute um, okay so what what do you do you create a new X page you drop the layout custom control onto the X page you then drop your custom content control under the green dot on that X page so let's look at this here's a database and first thing I want to show you is the themes resources themes here's our application theme with what I showed you in the slide and how does that work application properties uh, X pages we put the application theme in there so now the CSS files are available to every uh, page and resource in the application and what are the CSS files style sheets okay and here's screen here's IE and here's the application CSS with our own code now notice screen has you know it's just kind of all all the code or so there's no fluff there but if you look at uh, grid okay here's all the comments and you can kind of see what what they're what they're doing so because only screen IE and application is in the theme that's all that's going to go down to the browser so I have loaded the 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 actual full files here just so I can have easy access to the documents but I don't really need them um, because they're not really being used okay so the custom controls look at this look over here so we've got this layout header custom control and what is that that's just the header and you can see here in the source it's just a panel uh, I've learned it probably should be a div um, and it's got a style on it pre-pen 3 span 21 last it's the only thing that's gonna be on that line so it's its own custom control now this generic layout custom control generic layout contains several custom controls the header here's the what do I call it? the left layout left here's the right layout right and these are their own custom controls and I had dropped on here this facet and this is kind of uh, I'm getting I'm starting to play with this too this is what they call an editable area so it's a facet okay so okay so what we have now is a generic layout custom control that's made up of our little pieces of the custom controls okay over here we have a custom control that just has a view on it so this is our content our page so how do we use this when well, we go to a new X page and this is blank and pre built it but it is blank um, see nothing's there and then we go to controls and we do the generic layout and we drop that on here okay notice this green dot so this gives us our our navigation our look and feel of the website and this green dot is where our content is gonna drop so we find our view custom control and drop that on okay and it inserted that in there so we can we can see how that works and that's it you're done design preview web browser and an explorer and we bring this this bad boy up and what do we get we get an X page with our content here and our navigation and look and feel and stuff in here so by using the 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 generic layout custom control we can easily have the same header the same right sidebar left sidebar etc on every page and what we're doing is we're making an X page uh, to hold the layout custom control and any content custom controls in there and that's how you do it so we're not doing any work on the X page itself we're only using custom controls and blueprint really makes it nice to uh, to lay things out And that's my demo. I uh, hope that made sense. If you have any questions, uh, here's my contact information. Thank you very much.